Hey boys, welcome back to Gold Rush. Today our goal is going to be getting the mobile wash plan and maybe even setting it up. So that that is what I'm planning for today. This is going to be a shorter video. This is what I plan for. Get enough money for it. And just that. It's quite late, so I'm going to be quite quiet. About 12 a.m. So I'm a little low energy today, but definitely going to be okay. All right. Battery available, 26% discount, that's pretty good. So we have $4,000 right now. We have the Great Bucket Farm as well. Oh, it seems we missed a bucket, boys. Go ahead and make sure these are all set up nice enough. All right, and finish up this last bucket here to officially, officially end the Great Bucket Migration. Oh. There is one more straggler, I believe, that's over here. That oh wait, where would he go? I guess I was mistaken. I thought there's another bucket over there. All right, boys, you think it's you think it's about time that we go ahead and fill us up, get the gold? I do indeed think so. And the water's unfrozen too. That's great. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and now. The gold mining has begun, boys. There we go. Look at her going down. I'm going to wait until this one is mostly empty. Here, and then I'll go ahead and start putting them in. I'm going to lose none. All right. It's one bucket. Two bucket. Three bucket. Yeah, I think I can go a little bit faster. Yeah, let's just get rid of the empty buckets. Throw them behind there in the pit. There we go. Whoo! Fourth bucket. I believe we have 25 buckets, I believe. <laughs> there we go. We're already 24% already. It's going great. Heck yeah. I wonder how much money we're going to make just from... Full buckets. <laughs> okay, going a little too fast. We're losing the pay dirt. Who knew that someday, like your parents, when you're a little kid and you're like scrounging around in the dirt and the sand, they're gonna be like, that's not, how, how's that gonna help you in the life? Well, it turns out if you're going to gold mining and dig around the dirt, is how you make money. But you gotta turn yourself into a dwarf. And then you be, then you become the real rich man, Jeff Bezos, uh, you know Mark Zuckerberg, you know Bill Gates. No, no, no. Dumping 25 buckets into a hose, with filled with dirt. No, that's where money's at. Look, we're already halfway full with our gold. So once we get this mobile wash plant, we'll be able to move out of this pit here and go ahead and start getting even more money. Doesn't that sound great? Sounds great to me. This one empty? Yep. How about this one? This one's also empty. This is much easier than shoving for 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I had to do before. <laughs> this is cool. So I don't have much to say other than my equipment. I'm still waiting on it. There's a really bad snowstorm outside. Uh, <laughs> I may or may not have made a little video of that with playing my dog. I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not, but I don't know if it's needed. So I'm thinking, of, sorry there wasn't any uploads yesterday. Uh, or, well, I'm, at the time I'm releasing this video, I didn't make any uploads yesterday. It really isn't going to matter too much. I'm just sorry that I can't keep it up. I'm gonna keep the scope around that. So we got up to about 82% of 25 buckets. That is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all the way filled up. Oh my gosh, all the buckets are getting in the way. Oh man. Back to old digging. I guess someday maybe. <laughs> someday maybe this pit might be completely empty, but I don't count on it because we got that whole area over there to do after. 21 ounces of gold, so we need to get enough of the mobile wash plant. Then we have to set it up, and we got to figure that out. 
100%. Then we gotta figure out how to get dirt into the washbowl, because I assume it's not gonna be just filling buckets. <gasps> Damn it! The water's frozen. Shut down a generator, so stop losing fuel. This is already at 60%. Remember, that stuff's $10 a gallon here. It's ridiculous. So now we gotta wait for the water source to unfreeze and we can get going. But look at that, 92% from the, you know, that's that's pretty good already. Now let's go ahead and start moving these buckets back. Hmm. I've got a great idea to pass in the meantime, boys. Great idea. Right, I'm just gonna finish, fill up this here. Finish filling this thing up and then I'm gonna go ahead and see if my great idea is gonna work. <laughs> That was weird for a second there. I was like, nope. Can't pick up that bucket. 66. 77. 88. 99. Yep. The OCD is killing. Oh, the OCD is killing me. I have to. I have to. I know, I know what I had to. I had to. Alright, here. I have a great idea. <laughs> Uh, see if this works. Be back in a minute, boys. Oh, boys, I got bad news. It turns out that you cannot build a tower of buckets like uh, one of those beer can towers. Turns out you can't do that because the bucket just falls over. Aw, oh, come on. I'm going to refund this game. Come on. That's stupid. Well, guess we gotta have a boring bucket. I'll just have a boring bucket pile here in the corner. Don't get to have a our bucket tower. We just gotta have the bucket corner. <laughs> the, still waiting on that water source to unfreeze. If I don't get it done by the time all the buckets are by the, all the time all the buckets are over here in the corner then we'll go ahead and sleep in the trailer or maybe actually you know what let's take the experience to go over and check if how much the mobile wash plant costs and maybe even uh like uh, what was i saying there? get like get some equipment and stuff and go sell our gold the 20 ounces we made so far 21 it's pretty good now, I think next video, I'm going to leave it completely uncut. This one, I'm going to still have just a few cuts, but I'm definitely going to cut down on them. Because I think it might actually be a better experience just being one-on-one, -on -one, instead of cutting around. For now, at least. I'm definitely going to do other series where I cut. It's just that this series is kind of uneventful. A lot of, there's not many two surprises that happen, at least to an early game. So, I think I'm going to leave it with minimal cuts. I could just eat them like this. I am bucket eater. <laughs> bucket eater. Oh, over the house. <laughs> Went into Gumdrop Valley. Ooh, two points. Two points. Yeah, hey, hitting the backboard. See, we should make this a sport. Much better. It's a much better sport. Oh, oh! I didn't even look back at that one. <gasps> oh, five. that has got to be like a twenty-pointer, man. Oh, uh, that is a sacred bucket, boys. What should this bucket be named? Bucket Joe. This is Bucket Joe. He is our Lord. We shall worship Bucket Joe. Bucket Joe. That is your new. Uh, Resting place. He is king of the buckets. These are all his subjects. These are the peasants down below to do his bidding work. Bucket Joe, what what are your orders for your bucket servants? Have my bucket servants work for you and do all of your needs at your disposal. Thank you, Bucket Joe. Thank you, Lord Bucket Joe. He's letting me use his servants as I please. I shall use his servants to refill my machines and objects. Bucket Joe is a sacred royalty. As you can see, he's a god himself floating up there, using his otherworldly power to subjugate his servants. <laughs> All hail Bucket Joe! <laughs> oh, man. 
soon as he got Timo over, and it still ain't fro unfrozen over yet. If the water's frozen, you think the fuel lines on the truck are frozen? I'll be fine. We'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. Get down here. You ain't Bucket Joe. Only Bucket Joe gets to be up there. Where'd the, uh... There it is. What are you doing back there? <gasps> Bucket Joe! No! Oh, Bucket Joe. Bucket Joe, you alright? Bucket Joe? There. No! Bucket Joe, you gotta get back up there. Come on, Bucket Joe. You gotta get back up to your resting spot. No, Bucket Joe, come on. Come on, Bucket Joe. I gotta throw you back up there, Bucket Joe. No, Bucket Joe, come on. Alright, we'll just have him sit up there. He, he, he's tired of using his power. The powers. He's just gonna be chilling up here now. There we go. Bucket Joe. See now he's he, he represents the people. Not not the not the bucket gods. He represents the people now. He's a people guy. Well, that's what Biden said. <laughs> no. I'll cut down the political jokes. They're just jokes. I ain't got none against Biden or anybody or any political organization. It's just fun to make jokes. He's the president, after all. Alright, let's go see how much that mobile wash plant costs. Drop that. A neutral drop. <laughs> California. California dreaming. Hello. Whoa. Whoa! It's a square body can take it. <laughs> Way into town. What time is it? 13th. It's 1 p.m. It's the middle of a snowstorm. All the way to... I'm going to grab the story. I'm just not going to read it because the story usually has... Uh, it cuts down on fuel prices, which is quite needed. Woo! That was a drift and a half, man. Gosh dang. keep on going oh now hopefully we'll be able to play more games at some point in the future still got skits coming still want to go skiing it's just that the weather hasn't been too nice out for it uh, it's a bit of lag <laughs> so definitely gonna be definitely got a lot of things planned definitely got a lot more to do I don't know what time was that my sway bar I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what time I'm going to be uh, revisiting Derail Valley. Uh, definitely sometime soon. Get our steamers. Make some videos on that. I actually got my closest friend, Matt, he can play in Derail Valley. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Now yeah, the turntables a turn. Good truck. So, something else I found out is that right over here, spare parts for like trucks and stuff. Look at those batteries. Why is a reinforced battery a thousand dollars? What? Who? Who? What? Why? Reinforced table? Piston? Piston? Okay. Definitely got a lot of stuff here. Interesting stuff. Wow, eighteen thousand dollars for a reinforced thing. What the heck? Oh my. Look at those beautiful quality on those parts. Gr Glacier Creek engine. How much is that? Thousand three hundred dollars. Jeez, man. Duplex jig, whatever that is. Work lamps, reinforcements. Like five hundred dollars for a lamp, man. Springs. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Electric engines. Are they so expensive? Oh man! Oh the lag! Oh please stop! Why is this happening? Well, we got interesting stuff in here. Good to know. All right, let's get ourselves that mobile wash plant. Or see how much it costs at least. Mobile wash plant, five thousand dollars. That is easy to make. So let's see what we need. If we go up here on the side and we look at this here, 
What do you boys think we need? Oh gosh, please stop. This is ridiculous. Let me figure out why this keeps happening. It looks like, well it probably needs power because if you look on the side here, there's an electric motor over there. Please just calm down. And it needs water too. Yeah, because you look in the top, there's a little water jet up here. Oh, please, stop. That is ridiculous. Clearly, it needs some sort of... Wherever I look, it needs some sort of water. I don't know where it's going to go in, though. Maybe right here? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, please, stop. So, I'm definitely going to need hoses. And then electricity. So, electricity, we're going to need to buy a little generator. So, one of these. $300. Okay, yeah, definitely one of those. Also, this is this apparently gets you your gold automatically so you don't have to pan, which is very useful. I think I might get that. I don't know, though. It's $4,000. Sounds useful. So then I'll need cables, so I don't know which kind of cable we need. So I'll wait until we got to... <gasps> I just thought, boys. All right, so we know what we need. I think we'll go ahead and finish up those mats down there and go ahead and get our payday money. Maybe even one more run to be safe, and then we'll definitely be on. Okay, this is ridiculous. I th I'm going to go turn down the graphic settings. I don't know if it's making any difference or not. Look at this. I'm literally moving my mouse around, and it's falling behind like a whole three se seconds. Or not a whole three seconds, but look at that. I'm on controls, graphics. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Okay, quality. We'll just go down to high for now. That's medium. Medium's good enough, I guess. Hasn't made too much difference. Definitely the shadow quality and textures are way worse, but the game doesn't seem to be lagging too bad. Alright, in that case, I guess we'll go up to high and see if that fixes anything. A little bit of stuttering. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, boys, we got a haul booty to get back to the house to get that money. Alright, let's see how fast you can go. <laughs> Way slower than it than it seems. So what is this factory for anyway? Massive factory in the middle of Alaska, like in the apocalypse though, because all the vehicles are broken. So what does it do? But <laughs> watching the lore, it turns out that there's just been a nuclear apocalypse and everybody is dead. But this one absolutely crazed individual, Ooh, this one insane man who thinks that the world's still running, has lost his mind and trying to go gold running. Oh, this gold gold mining in this climate and world. It's still happening. Hmm. Well, for now I'm gonna run just high quality. Ultra high might be a bit much. Again, I think it's my recording software that's doing it because I don't usually have those problems. I don't know if it's computer problems or... Uh, I don't know. Beautiful driving. Alright. Guess what, boys? Water's unfrozen. We can go ahead and get her going. There we are. We're going on down 96 and might actually fill all the way up without having to shovel anything. Looks like it. 99. 100. Alright, gotta shut her down. Just spam that button. So there's parts and stuff you can change in here, like a water pump. Hmm. Nice. Oh, it's happening again. Why is this happening? I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know why this is happening. It seems to have fixed it. Alright, well, guess we're running on a medium quality now, because that. I ain't doing that no more. Alright, we're all the way full up, so let's go ahead and get our. Excuse me, bucket. Wait a minute. 
Okay, Bucket Joe's still there. Thank God. I'll hail Bucket Joe. That, so, I, that kind of sounds a bit... Yeah, it's alright. Only, the only way to make it weird is if you make it weird. It's not weird until you make it weird. There we go. Almost got that one in. Oh. Aw, oh, bounces right off the top. There we go. Getting some of Aunt Jemima's uh, beautiful gravy. You know, got some of her gold gravy. Well, made recipe. <laughs> Yeah, so we know how much it is. I think we're just gonna pan I'm just gonna pan for this and I'll go ahead and tell you all the profits. You already seen the pan in enough. You'll see it in the future. So I'll just go ahead and take a break here and then we'll go ahead and buy our mobile wash plan. Or go ahead and get this and then we'll go buy it. Alright. Be back in a few minutes, boys. Uh, well bo <clears throat> well boys, as you can see we made an entire ounce of gold. However, I, on the last one I accidentally tipped it before I grabbed it and I already lost like four pieces. Four little four little flakes, man. Well, twenty two ounces of gold is a pretty good margin, so we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the blacksmith, go ahead and sell this chunk and bit, and then we will one hundred percent go over and buy that bubble wash plant, boys. Ooh, we're already on like what tier two, I believe that is. Because if we open up the handbook, let me check it out. We have tier one, the truck and the hog fan, and then we have all this stuff here. And then we can move on to tier two, because we're on tier one, and then tier two has this stuff. Ooh, got a whole mobile wash thing. I don't know how you use the. Oh wow. So, they want us to buy an excavator for this sucker. I don't know how much that's worth, but uh, right now we're definitely going to get that mobile wash plant. So, we're going to head on town. Head on the road again. Be on the road again. On the road again. Oh! That, that isn't healthy for my truck. Alright, I'm going to not get distracted. See y'all at the blacksmith. Oh my... Now, what in the cousin fucking Alabama Betty Crocker Miss fucking Betty White shit is this? $15,000 for the tiny excavator and then sixty-seven dollars for the big. What the heck? It's ridiculous. $15,000? I mean, I already have $5,000, but uh, getting up to that, it's going to take a little bit more time. Definitely. Why not just go for the big one? Yeah. I guess we're going for the small one, so we got to make 15,000 boys, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the mobile wash plant. So we'll go ahead and get our butts over there, but that's ridiculous. Get that square body trunk. The frame rate problem has been fixed, boys. So that's good. The bad news is that quality is a little bit worse for wear, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. Yeah. Definitely got to get better at driving. 100%. Alright, boys. Oh, the blacksmith! That was it. We had to go to the blacksmith to sell it. I knew I was missing something. Back it up. 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 There we go. Come on, keep going. Get it going. Woo! Pine Valley. What happened? What is all the way down this road? That's a good question. What's all the way down here? Blacksmith! Blacksmith. Blacksmith, good sir. Shot. Blacksmith, good sir. I can actually smelt now. There we go, 20 ounces. Smelt 20 whole ounces, boys. There we go. See, we're smelting 20 ounces. I wonder how much that's going to be worth. So I can go here and sell the last bit of 2 ounces here for an extra... There we go. Uh, we gotta wait a little bit. Go ahead and cut back to y'all when it's done, or maybe even. I'll see if I can find a little bit of story or something around here. Some just some collectibles to grab or some some logs back here. AC units. Blacksmith. I'm just hopping around, just looking for stuff. The mace trail up here. The mace. 
I don't know how long it is. Uh, let's see if we can say. Oh, seven. Okay. There. Oh, I guess I'll just run over. I saw, I saw like a truck or something down there. I don't know. <gasps> Boys. It's there. Can I go over them? I will be on this point not recommended. Hey, Dare. Dude, there's Dare's over there. Look at that three point buck. Hey. That three point buck over there. Ha, ah, dang. I think that's a buck. Looks like one. Look at them just chilling over there. No cares in the world. My shiny gold bar. Closing my hands. Oh, closing my hands. Yes, that is indeed what that said. It's going to close in my hands. Ooh, a little bit bigger than before. 20 ounce gold bar. Alright. Also, I think I figured out why last time I didn't, I was confused why I couldn't smelt more than like 8 ounces is because, um, bars cannot be smelted in random numbers. Like, who does that? So, that explains why I couldn't smelt more than that because there's only so much you can do. A 20 ounce gold bar makes it. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, 20 ounce gold bar makes sense. Uh, just ignore my bad driving, please. Don't worry. It's, it's just normal. That's normal. Uh, sorry. Uh, we're doing all the smart stuff today. 20 ounce gold bar. Let's see how much it's worth. Cert. Cert. There we go. Sell gold bars. $21,000, boys. We have 25k. All right, boys. Who's ready to buy a mobile wash plan and the stuff required? That's not the right button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. This is all right. This is fine for the machine. Don't worry, boys. I know what I'm doing. I'm a mechanic. Not really. I'm more of an engineer, but good enough. Back it up. Back it up, back it up. There we go, perfect. Natural parking brake. Alright. Go ahead and get ourselves this mobile wash plan now. Boom. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and buy it real quick because I know that there's stuff I need and I don't know exactly. Yes. So where is my mobile wash plan? Well, oh, there it is. Okay, we need power and water, I figured. So, yeah, we need power and then water somewhere. What does this do? Okay. Everybody, I have an idea. Oh, gosh, it's happening again. All right, let's, let's see here. If the water goes down. Let's try to figure where the water goes to. Water comes down from here. They go into that generator. Might be overthinking this, but I don't know. So they come out of that generator then. So it looks like they come out here. Unless they. Am I blind? Oh, is this like a little hose? No. Hmm. I don't know. Here, let me buy. Let me buy a small hose. And then I need to buy a generator and a cable. So I need to get a generator. Uh, crap, what was the cable out there? What, what color is it? Yellow or blue? Because there's two different ones. It's a blue cable. So this here, blue cable. High voltage. Get one of these. Beautiful. Then we need a hose. Hoses are over here. A little tiny garden hose. Beautiful. And that should be it, I believe. And we have $19,000 as well. So we can go ahead and get ourselves a whole ass excavator. That That's pretty crazy. Buy ourselves an excavator with the money. Got see there is a hose. Okay, good, good to know. 
I'll put our stubs in the back and go ahead and truck her over. And we'll end her here and pick her up tomorrow because I'm quite tired myself. Also, I may I say I love the exhaust in this vehicle. Absolutely beautiful. Generator. So we got two two big powers and one tiny power. Unless there's one on the other side. Nope. Alright. Mm, nice. How do I grab? Oh, you grab it from the road. That's cool. Just put that generator into the truck. It's kind of sus just it's sitting there. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. That's better. Oh, and it, uh, I'm going to get another jerry can because that one's also going to require fuel. I might as well just buy a fuel trailer at this point. <laughs> I have the money. No, not really. I don't know what I'm going to do about the excavator, though. Am I going to have to drive that all the way to the place? That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, boys, going to grab some gas for the, the can and the uh, the generator, and then I'm going to come on back and grab the wash plant, and I will uh, definitely catch you guys at the place and say my goodnight. Alright, see y'all in a moment. Oh, it's happening again. Oh, why? I just popped in again because there is a quite interesting way to hook up the trailer. We actually have to like back up the trailer, man. It's cool. We have to actually get it right. But the camera, this camera is a bit annoying, so I'm just gonna keep slamming into it until the camera. Oh man, it's hurting. Can I? Just, oh, I can just. There we go. That's actually quite neat. I just want to say that it was quite neat. Yeah. See, attention to detail in this game. I've, I've pride the creators in this game for their amazing work. I thank y'all for making a game that's quite fun and enjoyable. I'll right, be back in a moment, boys. Actually, I decide no. I'm just gonna drive y'all because of what, having this whole trailer back here is definitely making the driving much more interesting. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Ah, it wasn't me. It was the the deer back at the blacksmiths. They they come over here and they did that. Not me. They whore. <laughs> Try not to jackknife. Okay. That was close, man. Oh, there's a free camera. That's so much better. <laughs> this poor trailer's like, oh gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Yeah, so that top is not correct. That's not supposed to be like that. My graphics, because I turn them down, make them look really... Everything looks good. Oh no. Diff lock. There we go. Ha ha. Big brain moves. See, I sort of know what I'm doing. Well, I'm just gonna... Tight turns. Where's the gap needle? Oh. Almost had it. Well, these days I'm going to master that. Sometime soon I'm going to master that gap. <gasps> Ooh. Playing almost tip back there. Uh, so, boys. We have ourselves... A mobile wash plant. Heck yeah, boys. Sweet. Alright. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. I know this is going to be a shorter episode. Tomorrow I'm thinking of going an entire hour for an episode. That's what I'm thinking. This one's only going to be 35 minutes long, but definitely been long enough for me. It's been a whole 45 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go to bed soon. Uh, well, thank you all for watching. New channel. Uh... I haven't gone along too much, but uh, definitely love if y'all stay around. Why is there something on fire? I just noticed there's something on fire over here. What is that? What is happening over here? Oh, my. My boys have got, a, got ourselves a campfire up here. Oh. Uh-oh, guys. The bandits are coming.
coming. I gotta take the shovel and defend myself. Y'all have a good day now. Run while you still can. They're coming. Aw, oh, crap. They're coming for my gold. No.